okay I'm back to cut this soap and clean it up to make it look a little bit nicer than it looks now so this is what it looks like just out of the mold so some things I'm gonna do is plane the tops to make them smooth and I think I'm also going to bevel these because I have some, in some places where the you can see like for example right here on the edge because it was so thick maybe there's some spaces like that that um, a bevel will help with that and it will also look really cool so the scent is pomegranate if you wanted to see how I make this uh, just check out the last video that I put up and I have um, like kind of a slope here so I'm thinking of maybe calling it pomegranate slopes or pomegranate slope or something like that I'm still thinking about it and um, I think it's cool because I like math so much and it's a nice like nerdy way to incorporate a mathematical term um, and also describe what's going on here with the with the layer shape in a slope okay so I'm gonna get started on this the first thing I do is I turn it upside down and some areas where it kind of wanted to go outside of the mold I even those up and it looks like that's it so I'm going to do that to all four of the loaves so now I did that to all four of the loaves so now they're all their sides are even I'm not sure if you can quite tell but after the next step they're gonna start to look a lot different the next thing I'm gonna do to these soaps is I'm gonna plane the tops to make them smooth and then because I did this soap as a cold process oven process I have some bubbles on the side so I'm also going to plane those to make those smooth Okay, so you can see the difference that makes. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that to all four of them. So now they look like this, and you can see a lot more of this kind of marbled swirl effect on the top now that they're planed and they're nice and smooth. So if you didn't see the, the video where I'm making it, the bottom layer is pomegranate fruit with rose clay and on the top layer I have a titanium dioxide and a merlot sparkle mica and uh, diamond dust mica so those are the colorants used in this one and the recipe is not I don't give all the exact ingredients or I mean I give the ingredients <laughs> I don't give the exact amounts but I give the ingredients so if you're interested in learning more about the about the ingredients that are in the soap you can check out the video where I made the soap and if you want to see how I made a slope it's basically just you know you angle the mold angle the mold but you can check that out on the video how I did that if you want to check that out so the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to cut the soaps and then I'm going to plane the bottom after I cut the soaps.
and then you can see what they look like. But I'm going to grab these by four and come over here and plane them four by four. The soaps go planing four by four. Hurrah! Hurrah! <laughs> okay, so now the bottom gets smoothed out. And I'm just going to put these all on the tray and I will cut the other loaves and then get to the next step making them beautiful. Well, they're already kind of beautiful, but I'm going to detail them a little bit more. And now all of the soaps are cut, so I'll just kind of show you some random ones. They all kind of have the same thing going on, which is everybody has a slope. This one's slightly imperfect like me. And they all have a swirl on the top. So they all kind of have that same look, each one being just a little bit different. And the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to bevel them. This is my soap beveler. So it has a small beveler and a large beveler. I'm going to use the larger one. I pretty much never use the smaller one. I don't prefer it, but I like the larger one because it gives kind of a better look. So you just get the corner in there and then it makes a nice bevel. So I'll do that on all the sides. And then I do it on these medium sides too. The long sides and the medium sides. And that's, those are the only sides I do. I don't do the little short side because I just prefer. I like this one to have a regular angle and I like the bevel to be like that. So that is a beveled bar of soap. Ta-da! You can look at it this way, or you can look at it this way, or you can look at it that way. Either way, it has a slope. <laughs> so now I'm going to go and do that to all 32 bars, and I'll see you in a second. Ta-da! So this is the final appearance of the soap. So now that I'm all the way, all the way done. I'll show you some of these randomly. There's a pretty one. Well, they're all pretty. They're all pretty. Okay, so we have that one has more of the color in the top. Let's get, how about this one? So I kind of like that as well. I only have one glove on right now, so I'm trying to manipulate them with one hand. I do not like to touch soaps with my bare hands. It's kind of bugs me because fingerprints <laughs> drives me crazy. So that's why I always wear the gloves, even though it's annoying. So so there we have it. Okay, so if you, again, want to see how I made them, then you can check out my last video. Oh, I got to pick some from this loaf because I liked how the top looked. So I'll show you one from this one. A little soap thing stuck there. One thing about the bevel, too, is, like, it really makes it smooth when you're, like, rotating it in your hand to lather it up. You know, when you do the old motion and then the soap turns around. <laughs> um that really seems to be a lot smoother with a beveled edge. But since it's so time consuming, I don't do it on all my soaps. And on my custom soaps, there is an upcharge for beveling. If you want beveling, then I charge a little bit extra for it. But it just looks very professional, has a very nice looking look to it. And this is going to be 
a limited soap that will be released for, should be released around December 1st, uh, maybe a little bit earlier because today is October 8th. It would actually be ready to use November 8th, but the soaps, this is going to be released with the Christmas tree soap and probably one more soap, which will probably be a peppermint soap. And if I have time in my schedule, maybe I might come up with something else too. But I have three of them planned to be released for December 1st. So again, down here we have pomegranate fruit. I also added rose clay because I wasn't sure how brown the pomegranate fruit was going to make it because of the sugar content. And um, it's, it was dried ground pomegranate fruit. And... It should be, you should be able to feel that a little bit. It shouldn't be too scrubby, but you should be able to feel some texture in the bottom. The top, however, is going to be just completely smooth. And it all has the same scent, which is a nice, warm, holiday pomegranate type scent with a splash of orange five-fold essential oil added in, kind of for a little orange twist. And I love the smell of this one. It really turned out great. I'm happy with it, especially the synth. And I like the way it looked too. It was a little bit, this is what this is about what I imagined it would look like, but it did set up really fast. So I was, I didn't really go into it with a solid plan on what was gonna happen on the top half. I let the bottom half kind of be my guide on, you know, how much of a design I could accomplish on the top half. And I kind of barely got that <laughs> pot swirl to work with how how fast it was setting up so I'm happy with it considering like I'm really happy with it considering how hard it was to work with the soap that was setting up so quickly and I really kind of like the ribbons and swirls that came out in that so so there it is pomegranate slopes bye bye